Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,461. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to talk about the difference between Control-Enter and Control-D when you have a range of cell cells highlighted. Now, I have in the active cell, you can see up in the formula bar, I already created a formula, and I have the whole range highlighted. The fastest way to copy it down is Control-D. That's an awesome use for Control-D. Now I'm going to delete everything. Here's the other situation when we use Control-Enter. I have the whole range highlighted in advance. And in the active cell, I'm going to put it in Edit Mode and create my formula. So the difference here is that I'm in Edit Mode, and I want to copy something all the way down. In this case, if I try Control-D, it doesn't work. But Control-Enter, no problem, copies the formula all the way down. Now, Control-Enter has another really important use. Our example here was when we had an active cell in edit mode, and we wanted to populate something down through the highlighted cells. But let's look at this example, equals gross pay times and I'm going to get my tax rate and F4 to lock it. Notice I have something that I need to enter in the cell and then copy it down. The vast majority of Excel users on the planet Earth do this. Enter, then click back up, then double click and send it down. That wasted a click. So a great use for Control-Enter when you have a single cell selected is this. Our goal is to put the thing in the cell and keep the cell selected. Whether or not we're going to copy it down, or format it, or do something else. Control-Enter puts the thing in the cell, keeps the cell selected. Now I can do whatever I want. Control-1 General to add some formatting, or in our case, double click and send it down. Now I want to show you my two favorite uses for Control-Enter and Control-D. Here, I've already copied the formula down, and I realize that that's the wrong formula. I need to edit it. So instead of editing just the single cell and Control-Enter and copy it down, I already have it highlighted, so I simply, in the active cell, hit F2. Now it's in edit mode. I can edit my formula. This is my favorite use for Control-Enter. The range is already highlighted. I'm editing our formula in the active cell. Now I use Control-Enter to populate the edited formula all the way down. Here's my favorite use for Control-D. When you're using the macro recorder, if I were to copy this down to cell E28, hard-coded in the macro code would be E28. Well, if I want to use this same VBA macro code again on a variable height table, I need to figure out a way to trick the macro recorder. And here's how you do it. I've entered the formula, right? Recording macro with relative references. Left arrow, control down arrow, right arrow, control shift up arrow, and this is where control D comes in. Notice there's something at the top, control D to fill that range down. All right, so we saw how to use control enter and control D. If you like that video, click that thumbs up and comment and be sure to sub because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. We'll see you next video.